Morning folks, how you doing? It's Des Catties. Alright, having a sip of the old, uh, cup of the old Darjeeling. I'm probably buzzing a bit at the moment because I've just got back from uh, my morning run. Eight miles I've done today and um, I'm feeling pretty sort of buzzing at the minute. So for what I do is, uh, while I'm sort of in this sarcastic, happy, good mood right now, what I'm going to do is do a, a YouTube video, okay, on a British Army ration pack. Now, there isn't enough videos on British Army ration packs, so I thought, fuck it, I'll do my own. You know what I mean? So, uh, here goes. Um, some time ago, I was given a British Army ration pack by my mate, Mac Tightwood. And, um, yeah, he got sent a box of them through for some nutcase up north who gave him a load of ration packs for free. And, um, and if you go online and actually go and try and purchase one, they're about 15 fucking pounds, you know what I mean? They're quite expensive these days, considering that they used to be free when I was in the army. And um, so there it is. So anyway, so we're going to do a, we're going to do a little uh, sort of show you of a British Army ration pack. Now this one, oh, hang on, I've put on my glasses so I can so I can read. Uh, well, this one is a, a number two. So I don't. Is that, do you think that's because it's shit? I don't think it is. But this is, this one is actually a number two, twenty-four hour ration ration pack. All right, it's even got a Union Jack on the end there, just to let you know that it's English. So um, let me just have a sip of my old coffee. Oh, that's better. Right, okay. Now, I haven't had a ration pack for flipping years. And um, bloody hell, have they changed? I mean, I remember when they were all the tins and cheese possessed in there and, you know, all the biscuits, AB brand, the ones that used to fucking break your teeth and the Garibaldi briskets and all that sort of stuff. But they've, uh, they've changed a little bit now, I suppose, and uh, for whatever reason. And um, so, let's... It's already been opened, I've just not used anything out of it. So let's have a look, see what's in there. Let's have a look, let's see what's in the British Army ration pack. You know what I mean? Let's see what they've done. Let's see who's taken over. Well, it appears that it appears that um, uh, um, Beyond the Beaten Tracks have kind of taken over. I don't know who they are. Some sort of, obviously, an outdoory type company that are providing um, sort of uh, products for the British Army. Um, the first thing at the top is the uh, sundry packet. Now... Bloody hell, this is, like, talk about fucking cup corners. I mean, when we, when we used to have them, there was packets of coffee whitener in there, shed load of coffee, shed load of tea, and God knows what else, and now there's just, they've sort of, they've proper sort of cut it down, you know, to, you know, whatever. So um, there's a plastic spork in there, so I suppose you can put food on there and flick it at your mate. Because it's a, make a nice little sort of trebuchet kind of effect. So if, you, if there's a bit of food in there that you don't like, chew it up, put it on a spoon, and then flick it in your mate's face. All right. So uh, yeah, there you go. There's uh, there's some tissue in there as well. You know for you know for sort of wiping your lips and maybe wiping your ass as well if you want it. If you want to go and have a shit. And um, and then obviously you've got some instant coffees in there, um, some purification tablets. And the like. Okay, so that's the sundries pack. It has really, it really has cut down, I think, compared to what it used to be in my day. All right, but there's the that's the sundry pack anyway. Right, okay. We've got a tin of uh, salted peanuts. Why the fuck are they in a tin? Is it because you might be able to sort of once you've eaten them, you can use the tin to boil some water in or something like that? Oh, I don't know. I, why have they put them in a fucking tin? Why not just stick them in another packet? But there you go. All right, so you get a tin of salted peanuts in that one as well. Uh, we've got some tropical fruit and nut mix. Fair enough, that's in a packet. Um, yeah, great. I've got to say, I don't know what it's like. I dare say it'll be all right. It's a British Army ration pack. They're bound to be good. All right. Um, we've also got some dark chocolate chip oak biscuits, which I'd imagine they're probably just like a packet of crisps right now because some of them are pretty broken. But yeah, great. Uh, instant hot chocolate, always a good favourite. I always used to like mixing this up with. Um, I used to like mixing this up with like the um, the rice powder, and, uh, and and make it into like a like it make it into like a chocolate sort of rice pudding. That was a nice one. Or just drink it on its own. It's you know don't really matter. Um, next we've got some tropical drink. We've got a tropical drink in there. This one is uh, well, it's tropical flavoured. Yeah, we used to call it. I used to call this, or we all used to call this screech, because when you used to drink it out of a packet and you used to mix it up and mix it up with water, drink it, it used to go. Ugh! So it was almost like it's like that screech. You know what I mean? It used to really sort of fucking rip in the back of your tongue. Got a packet of raspberry, 
uh, uh, oh, two packets of um, fruit uh, soft drink mix there as well. Another packet of screech. Also got some squeezed Louisiana hot sauce. Way that send your fucking arsehole burning, wouldn't it? Um, we've got some chicken and mushroom pasta. I dare say that is the main meal. That's in a mylar packet. Okay. I wonder if once you've eaten it and you've cleaned it out, that you could maybe use it as a hat. You know, to sort of like keep your head warm. Or if you sort of squash yourself down, if you maybe take up some contorted, some contortion it courses or something, you might be able to squeeze yourself into that and, may, and maybe use it as an emergency sleeping bag. Who knows? Um, we've got an apple turnover. Oh, very nice again. In a nice mylar packet. Again, you might be able to squeeze yourself into it. Or you might be able to squeeze yourself into that one and wear that one as a hat. Or you could even wear it as a pair of gloves. Who knows? But, you know, I'm, I'm always like, you know, I'm always mixing it up. You know, pushing it out there. You get some. Uh, you got tomato pasta salad. So you could even wear that as a pair of socks, couldn't you? You know, flipping it. We've got clothes out of this and everything. Isotonic drink. They really sort of they've um, really put a lot of sort of juices and stuff like that in it. I do sort of just like drinking water but there you go uh, chicken sausage chicken sausage and beans in tomato sauce and haricot beans oh they're very nice you know haricot beans very posh because all it is is just baked beans why don't they just say that but i suppose it sounds posh especially for people in the army and that uh we've also got a cereal bar cookies and cream flavor oh now we used to get double deckers um, double deckers in now. I used to get some, uh, I don't know, some other sort of chocolate that, that's gone out of the top of my head, but they've sort of cut down on that as well. I mean, I'd soon have a few more extra bars of chocolate in there because it's a nice sort of comfort food. <coughs> box of storm, a box, a packet of stormproof matches with a strike, and there's five fucking matches in now. Uh, and then finally, oh, there's finally, oh, there's two things that really makes me laugh. It's the feedback and prize draw entry form. It's just amazing, you know, you know, fucking Private Jones or Private Smith or whoever, Private Catties. Uh, what did you think of the chicken and sausage beans? Oh, well, um, yeah, it was all right, you know what I mean? It, it, it all like kept me, you know, it was all right, you know. What did you think of the dark chocolate and chip biscuits? Well, yeah, they were all right, a bit broken, you know. I couldn't sort of dip them in my hot chocolate, you know what I mean? Because they all fell apart, so I don't know. It was all right, it was all right. Do I, do I like it or not? Do I like it? Do I dislike it? And then you've got to put a comment as well. So, uh, yeah, you know, maybe sort of when you pack the biscuits, maybe try not to break them as much. I don't know, I don't know, you know what I mean? Uh, and then finally, you know, let's have a look at isotonic drink powder. What do you think of that? Well, it, it fucking made me run faster, mate, I'll tell you. When I was fucking out there, fucking up face, cross the enemy, I was fucking giving it all that. And I was fucking hell, mate. I tell you, I could run. That isotonic was pumping through my veins, and I was like, fucking hell, Spider Man, fucking E Man, and all that. Each year I out, because I fucking I had an isotonic drink that was in a British Army rush pack. Yes, yeah, so anyway, we're on a serious note now. And then also the additional information sheet, and it tells you all the different menus. There's actually seven menus in there now. Oh no, there ain't. There's actually, and then there's uh, additional sheet 24. Right, so we've got menu sheet one to seven, and then menu sheet eight to fourteen. So there's. Does that mean that there's 14 ration packs in there? There are 14 different styles of ration packs? Oh, I don't know, I'm not going to read it anyway, but there you go. So, yeah, you know, you've got, you've got these, it really does make me laugh, enter a competition. I wonder what you win. What do you win? Uh, you win a ration pack. <laughs> you, you could win, you could, there's that, that little fucking word there, you could win a £200 Amazon voucher. You know, so you could go out and get yourself some bit of better military kit than the shit you get issued, I suppose. Um, yeah, so so there it is, you know what I mean? So that, that's a 24 hour ration pack, folks. So I, I, nothing serious, you know what I mean? I'm just fucking about there because I'm buzzing because I'm just coming back from the run. Alright, so uh, yeah, there it is, 24 hour ration pack. I mean, it shocks me how much they are now when you buy them out of the shops or out of eBay or whatever. P people are selling them for lots of money. Um, yeah, great. I mean, the preppers love them, and you know, everyone loves them, don't they? Preppers, outdoors, bushcrafters, and all the rest of it. I mean, mum used to get her ration packs. If we was out for a period of time, you'd get a stack of ration packs, and the first thing you'd do is you'd open them all up and then start chucking out stuff that you didn't want because there's no way you're going to pack 
five, six, seven of these into your rucksack because your rucksack would be fucking up here or you'd need a pack mule to carry it all. So um, you would, uh, you'd end up chopping everything down and, and, and bringing all the best stuff and leaving all the crap that you didn't want. So, um, so there it is, right, folks. That was a bit of a, a sarcastic, a humorous angle of a British Army ration pack. All right, uh, yeah. So there it is. All right. So thanks for watching. Uh, please leave your comments and all that. You know, you know who knows if YouTube will put it up there. You know, because I'm swearing a little bit and all the rest of it. You know, some people they, you know they don't like to wear that. Well, anyway, so there it is. All right. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Please leave a comment. Um, I hope you liked the previous videos there where I was being quite serious about carving and, and giving you some ideas. I mean, I had some nice comments back off of people uh, saying that they liked it and um, and all the rest of it. Uh, and so there it is, folks. So uh, thanks for watching. Please take care. Stay safe. This case, see you on the flip side and signing out. Laters.